It's Alina here. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I see you had to return the favor with the birthday <laughs> balloons. Yes, of course. I'm I'm kind of sad you're not a Libra like me, but then I'm also like, at least I know I vibe with Scorpio. I'm on the cusp. <laughs> We're both October babies. Yes. And you did the balloons bigger and better, let me just say. No, They're yours gorgeous. were amazing. <laughs> no, I'm obsessed. And the butterflies, like, I can't. I thought about you. I was like, what would Lini like? <laughs> yes, yes. Mandy got it right. So how was your birthday? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling How does it good. go to be 40? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. MG. <laughs> Cut it out in case people believe it. Twenty one, twenty one. Okay, still no Botox or filler. Okay, guys? Okay, okay. They're going to come at you because you, you make an expression. See? Okay. 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 Right. See? There's the proof. You must always have like a, because I'm very facially, so I feel like you can tell it. I'm facially. I can't. It, your face never moves. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't need Botox. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Honestly, I don't believe in preventative. Like, I have seen enough shit and evidence and heard things. Like, basically, you're just, if you need a little something, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if you don't need it, I will wait. Like, I don't mind yeah. seeing a little expression. I've seen people. It's paralyzing the nerve, paralyzing the nerve. <laughs> and then I see over time people who have overdone or women who are older who have it now. It's like it doesn't sit right. Mm -hmm. Have you seen? There's so many of the housewives. I always notice this. They have a delay when they blink. One eye blinks a little bit faster than the other. <laughs> And it's like one one eye closed, then the other one, and it goes really fast. Listen. But you, I always see the one eye lagging, and it's because you're paralyzing and paralyzing the nerve. For me, That's I'm my like, fear. do what you want. I don't care. I need someone to laugh at if you look crazy. So. <laughs> no, listen, I plan on being under any and every laser. I don't give a fuck. Like, whatever I got to do, tuck, mm -hmm. zip, you know, take tuck, out, zip, <laughs> take it out, pull it back. Mm -hmm. I, I will. Like, Joan Rivers, fuck it up, sis. You're a queen. <laughs> look at you. You never had a wrinkle in your life. You know what I mean? Like, love that. Great for her. Yeah. You know, role model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who was that? What's her name? Black China. I think she got rid of a lot of her. Like, I don't buy stuff, it. Don't right? get me started on Black China. No, she a liar. Like I think she's looking better than she did. She looks way better yes. than she did. She yeah. was overfilled, but overfilled, that shit yeah. is not. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> I'm just saying she's looking. Go better. look at her face. Well, like, I mean, I think she's always been scary looking. I think she's still scary looking, but I think she's she a little more normal. She's a lot <laughs> because she's a, a child predator. But anyways, we'll oh. get into <laughs> damn. I try this to go. whole image. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you forgot my conspiracies about Black no China. I remember that but her I'm like whole I'm just thing, talking about finding looks. God <laughs> is for when she gets lawsuits and she's mm. gonna be like I'm changed mm. it's what it's what Diddy didn't didn't do you know and now this is it and now she every she's got a cult following of believers mm. I heard J Lo um, married Ben Affleck because the P Diddy thing was oh, coming stop. out and she didn't want to be tied to it. I'm so tired of all these fucking conspiracies. I love it. I'm here I for think it. it. No, they're so funny, but they're not true. But like, I'm actually, I shouldn't have even used the word conspiracy with Black China because like literally people have come forward and mm -hmm. been like, she trapped me in a hotel room. She tried to do A, B, and C. There are, there are girls on TikTok who were like uploaded footage and they were like fearing for their lives. Mm -hmm. So I was so terrified for them. Right, we don't got to go down her rabbit so hole. So we won't. We won't. But I'm just saying, she found God, quote unquote, <laughs> So that people will, you know, believe her bullshit. Mm. So later they're going to be like, well, she's changed. Mm. Give she's her grace. Mm -hmm. She does look better. <laughs> she looks great. She looks great. Let's leave it on a high note. All right. All right. Okay. So since it's my your birthday. birthday. I'm sorry. Yes. Back to your birthday. I'm going. <laughs> Go ahead. My birthday was wonderful. I had an amazing day. It was so funny because you can just tell that my boyfriend knows me very well. He set up like a spa package at a resort in Miami. We had a whole day at the resort. We did spa services. We had the best time. We had food and drinks. Aww. It was so nice. They had like champagne set up when we got there, rose petals. Like we spent the day by the pool and the beach and I felt like I was on vacation. Mm. And then I came home and at night we came back and we had dinner and drinks yes. with you and your mans and my brother mm -hmm. and it was just like my little fam to all together and that was so special it was like the perfect way to end my day and i mean shout out to you for the beautiful cake why don't you tell everyone what you did there oh god okay so 
you guys may not have known this, but if you do follow me on social media, maybe you saw it, but Alina got me a beautiful cake for my birthday. Oh my God, you're silly. It was so cute, so pretty. So then I was like, okay, I got to get her a cake too. So I go to Publix because, you know, I'm like, Publix has decent. Yeah. And I hated all their options. They had like, I felt like I was at Carvel without the ice cream. It was just like. Oh my gosh. Like, ugh, it, I couldn't do it. So then I was like, okay, I just have to get one. So then I got one and I was like, okay, it looks like a birthday cake, but it was like blue and childish looking. So I get home. So she got one. <laughs> she brought it home she already bought the cake yep and then what and then i was like i can't do it i need to go get another no. one so then i went to <laughs> Fresh didn't Market return it didn't return it just bought another yep. cake yep. so like why did you do that because it's okay no. like i would have loved it you got me a cake no it needed to look good <laughs> oh my gosh it, you did get an amazing not only a stunning looking cake that's all i cared about i don't care what it's but like. also it was delicious <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Like, absolutely. You knocked it out of the I park. I think the other one would have tasted amazing, but it looked like what a five-year-old What did you do with the other cake now? It's still in the fridge. Oh, my God. <laughs> Waiting for my boyfriend That is it. a really hilarious MVP <laughs> friend right there. That is so funny. I was about perfection. Then the balloons. I'm going to be starting on the dinner balloons. I was like... Oh, please. I had the same problem with your dinner balloons. Oh. I brought balloons to her dinner, <laughs> and we got poured on in the rain, and then oh. the balloons wouldn't float. <laughs> Anyways... That's fine. I had an amazing birthday. Good. I was filled with love. Look at how amazing of a friend I have, even just oh. from the cake Friend, I, I thought I was family. You I should are be like family. Sister. You're my sister. <laughs> That's what I call you all the time. Okay. okay. We have to move on now. So now yes. we have to, come on, you have to tell me, you know, what have you learned? Yeah. Anything you'll take into next year? Okay. Anyone you want to drop? No, let me <laughs> You know, <laughs> as I have gotten older, like there are a very few friends that like, I think with friendships, you learn like not everyone has to be like your best, best friend mm -hmm. and you can have a place for people that you still see for like your dinner and your drinks and stuff like that. I don't necessarily feel like, OK, I need to drop anybody. I don't feel that way. I feel good at this place in my life. I had exciting steps made. I got a my dream car this year. Yay. I moved into a beautiful new place. Mm -hmm. My dog is well. My family's healthy. I'm very happy. I think something that I've learned more so trying to set boundaries, speak up for myself. I have a problem with like confrontation, not even like bad things, just like saying something like, oh, I want this instead. Like that's mm -hmm. sometimes hard for me. I think also um, something that I have been thinking about I guess I didn't really talk about it so I'll just say now that I found out that my news station is shutting down the channel that I work for and we're all being let go <laughs> so I was like oh my goodness like such a panic and we I'm gonna be fine and I ended up like talking to a bunch of people and I'm making connections and I'll figure it out and whatever and for now I'm still there but we do have a day where they're just turning everything off <laughs> So I'm working towards that day and something amazing that one of my like role models who's like at the top of the company had said to me was like, you can take like you don't have to be so hard on and this can apply to anything like she's like, you can take a day for yourself and just like have a day that you need. If you are the type of person that needs to just like sit in bed and watch shows, you sit in bed and watch shows. She's like, I'm somebody that needs to get up and go to like the grocery store, go shopping or mm -hmm. walk around or do something like stay distracted. Whatever your body or your your mind needs in that moment, take the day because if you're sitting there and you're stressing and you have anxiety and mm -hmm. you're whatever, you're not going to be productive. You're going to be sitting there staring at something just to get it done. It's not going to be your best. You're going to feel a mess. Take the day and then ne and then tomorrow I can get on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. I can send my emails. And it's like sometimes just that one day to disconnect when you're going through something, you can still pick it up the next day or the next week. Like yep. you don't. And I'm learning from her who's like been through this before because they say there's a joke in news. Like you haven't worked in news until you've been laid off. It's like a running joke in media. And she's been through it before. And she's like the worst mistake I made was like, panic rushing to like mm -hmm. find the next thing immediately she's like it's so bad it was so bad for my mental health I ended up doing something that I regretted like all these things she's yeah. like take the day and I feel like that message can just be applied to so many things mm -hmm. because you know what you can do it tomorrow if you really need that space for yourself yes so, I, I think that's great advice if you think about it you know people think like 
yes, you work five days a week, but then you have the weekends. Yes. Sometimes you don't have the weekends. No. Sometimes you have things you need to do. Yes. Places you need to go. So you don't have that space to just sit there, you know, be in your feelings or like do something that you genuinely yeah. want to do. So like you said, I think it relates to everything. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. So love that message. And it's something I am learning and growing through. And yeah. yeah. I can't wait for next year. Bigger and better. Yes. New chapter. (laughs) I really think it's a blessing in disguise. I was really ready for my next step. So stay tuned, everyone. Not worried about it. Yes. Anyone to be lucky to have you. We're lucky to have you. Yes. (laughs) I know I'll be able to put a lot more energy and effort into the pod. So that's exciting. You guys need to blow us up. Blow us the fuck up. Blow us up. So I don't need a job. (laughs) I'm trying to retire out here. Let's go. This is the retirement plan. Come on. Please. (laughs) Tell your mother. Tell your friends. Tell your sister. (laughs) Tell your brother. Tell your dog. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Oh, Did you see this? I don't know if this is related, but your boy, Tom Brady, posted something. And okay, so I just saw that Giselle and her boyfriend, the jujitsu trainer. Now they've been together since. I think he's a yoga instructor. They started. No, (laughs) jujitsu. I don't know the difference. Oh, my God. I know. I said it and you were like, oh, yoga guy. (laughs) (laughs) So basically, uh, Giselle and her boyfriend are expecting. They're having a baby. And it was just announced as of this recording. It was announced, I think, yesterday, which was Monday of this week. And I mean, happy for them. I think that, you know, even though they started dating a year ago that or a year and some months ago, Mm -hmm. she was, you know, when those things happen, you're checked out for a long time. They had two beautiful kids together. I wish her and her man and their new baby well. And I wish Tom well, too. Tom will be fine. Yes, he will be fine. He posted this story and everyone's dissecting it as like, because it came right after the breakup, uh, the breakup, the the baby news was announced. Mm-hmm. And they're kind of relating it as a, resp- a subliminal response. But he put up a story of like a sunset with the song Landslide and the lyrics <laughs> on the page. And it was just like somber and like wallowy. So <laughs> people are like, is this a response to the baby news? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I feel like he would have known before that shit came out. Don't you think? I don't know what their divorce was like, but they share kids. I would yeah. hope so. And I feel like they're both like able to be adult and cordial like yeah. I, I don't see them being vicious honestly I didn't want her with my man anyway so okay <laughs> I'm okay. happy they had their time they okay. did I would have supported that man if he wanted to play till he was 80 okay no for <laughs> sure for sure totally and he's now I mean he's being an, he's an announcer he's mm-hmm. doing yeah. he's calling games and all that so of course he has beautiful face on TV he's still. doing you know he's doing his thing he mm-hmm. cannot escape the football world okay so now, I feel like we need to, like, match him with someone. Like, we need to play matchmaker. Like, okay. who do we ship Tom Brady with? Okay. There has to be – I'm in my head, I'm trying to, like, not think too young. There were I know so he's many <laughs> rumors that, like, he was seeing – even before – I think there were a couple people in between, but there was even a rumor about like Kim Kardashian. I just feel like she is too. I mean, I think she's like a business mogul bitch and they would be a power couple. But I also think she's too into like fame and whatever. And he's more like relaxy type of life. Yeah. Like he's not as flashy and like trying to be at That's everything. That's like night and day with his ex-wife too. It's like yeah, not even. Yeah, that would be so different. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Is there someone in mind that you have? Okay. Oh my God, I'm going to butcher her name. Oh no. So, and she's recently single. So Get I'm it like, together. It could work. Who? That Kristen Cavallari chick. K- Kristen Cavallari. Is that a good one? I actually think that's a great one. Oh, oh my God. She's cute. She's fun. She's bubbly. She's saucy. Yeah. She can hang. They would she be She was cute. just with a younger. And and you know what? She ended with Mark Essie's. He mm-hmm. was like from the Montana Boys, like TikToker. He was like 24. And they actually had a beautiful relationship. And she ended it because she was like, you know what? Like, we have such an age gap and he has so much more life to live and they ended it like loving each other and he was really devastated she like let Mm -hmm. go of that relationship and she was like you are going to thank me later but she's she addressed it on her podcast we love all podcasters so (laughs) love to support that but she just like wanted him to be she feels like you know she's taking experiences away from him and I think that takes that is an act of love yes he would have he could have resented her in the future yeah so I think it worked out I think totally she knew, and I'm I think she had her fine. kids like yes. she's in a different mm-hmm. chapter he may want that all yeah and she does love him and that's sad and I think and he was like devastated but I think mm-hmm. it's a it's a it is an act of but love what his daddy looked like no let me stop. <laughs> you know what <laughs> 
I mean, he's good looking. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, maybe runs in the family. You got, I'm you got a hot uncle for her? <laughs> that is funny. No, actually, that's weird. <laughs> we, we can look into that after. Okay, I'll tell you who I ship with Tom Brady. Don't insult my man. I No, okay. I love this girl. Don't insult me. And she's half Greek. Okay, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston, Rachel from Friends. I, she's I a know fucking that. queen. She's amazing. Like, why? She's an amazing person. She's beautiful. She's age appropriate. She's everything and more. Why are you being like this? That's just, an amazing uh, name. That Kristen Cavalier is like a reality star. Jennifer Aniston is this like amazing woman. She has had a beautiful career. I feel career. like I've seen her since my childhood and like it just Oh, like, so she's old for you? <laughs> no, I'm not saying. She, because I she's just, been famous? I just don't think they look as cute together. Like They look ring. great together. She dated Brad Pitt. Like the First off, who hasn't dated Brad Pitt? To go from <laughs> Brad Pitt to Tom Brady is a natural no, progression. No, 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 no. Tom Brady a ho-ho. I mean, not Tom Brady. I'm oh. sorry. What's his name? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's a ho ho. Okay, you might as well have said Leonardo DiCaprio. But I'm just oh come on. <laughs> that's not the same thing. You know what? I gave you Kristen, even though she's a reality I star. Know, that's not what I expected from you. I was Jennifer thinking- Aniston is I think the world of her. I think she's a beautiful soul. I think she's well spoken. I would. I think she can still be ho- like a homey person. She's not flashy. She's not over the top. She's she's everything and more. I think she's a wonderful person. I would have preferred you say like Jennifer Lawrence. Like <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is pregnant. Oh, is she <laughs> with another kid on the way? Like oh, we're talking about okay, okay. okay. I, I, I didn't get out of here. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, okay. I'm you thinking burst like looks, my bubble I'm so bad. She looks and gorgeous. personality. That's all. She's gorgeous and and, and fun Jennifer and funny. Very, but I see her more with like a Vince Vaughn or like a. <laughs> Don't insult my fucking queen. You know what? I'm gonna get my feelings hurt. So let's move on. I'm dead. Okay. Updated casting news. Jennifer, I can't. Tom, Why she are don't you mean laughing? That. She don't mean that. I can't believe you're insulting her. I'm not insulting her. I think she's better you're for someone absolutely else. Absolutely insulting. I am her. not. I'm just saying I can't see her with him. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you know, we might need to cut if this Sabrina out. If Sabrina Carpenter gonna... was older, I think she'd be great for oh him. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna need to cut this out because I'm not gonna be able to edit this. I'm gonna have such rage when I get to this part of the episode. Okay, I'm sorry. You know what? And you know what? No, Kristen. He I don't might, like Kristen. He She's might, a reality he might star. Hear this and be She's like... way too low for him. He deserves better. He needs somebody with more money, more class, more, more quality. I'm just saying. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Livid. Got Does Jennifer off in the Aniston comments. have kids? No, she doesn't. It's a long story. Leave her alone. No, no. I'm just curious because I'm thinking like family aspect. Like, yeah. you know, he has a family. She's a family Kristen girl, family. but she oh. does not have kids. Let it go. I mean, maybe Tom Brady got that magic spark. Okay, I'm sorry. I, yeah, it's okay. It's moving on. Anyways, so leave my girl. Love my girl. Love you, Jen. <laughs> okay, so last week we announced the housemaid casting. The first two cast members, Sydney Sweeney and Amanda Seyfried, were going to play Millie and Nina. And now we finally found out who our Andrew is going to be. And we have been waiting for this. Everyone in the comments was like trying to guess. Like we said, I had said Henry Cavill. A lot of people backed that up. Right one. Mm-hmm. You know, like. We want somebody of that caliber to be playing Andrew and also like who can act in that way and and play a diverse role. Mm -hmm. And we did just find out that for Frida McFadden's book to movie adaptation, Andrew is going to be played by Brendan Sklenar. And he most recently was Atlas in It Ends With Us. So what do you think of this casting news? Um, I'm wondering if he just likes books and he just wants to act in all books. <laughs> but I oh <laughs> that's gosh. all I can get from it. But um I I'm not mad at it, but I'm also not excited about it. Yeah. You know, like maybe he'll surprise me, maybe he'll be good. Like looks wise, very similar to kind of people we said, so yeah. that's fine. But then also watching him in This Is Us, now I picture him as Atlas. He's Atlas to me. Yeah. So now I can't do Atlas and Andrew. Like it's just So yeah. I kind of have similar sentiments. I think that he's well cast for the role. Like, I think he can do it. Yes. Was he who I pictured or was he on my wish list? No. Do I think he can act well and can play the part? And I think he can look the part. Totally. Mm-hmm. And I think he'll do a great job. I think I'm going to end up being pleasantly surprised. I am torn because not only is he in 
two, like these are two big major book to film adaptations. These are not just a book and done. These are series. Mm -hmm. Like there are multiple installments. You're going to be, it's going to be like, oh, there's a twilight, you know, there's a saga. And now you're going to be Atlas in this continuation into the next movie. And you're going to be Andrew. Like these are like two books that like, anyone really in the book world like those are your starter books like those are the ones that we've yes. all read mm -hmm. so for you to be our our atlas and for you to be our andrew is kind of weird to me it's, it's like are you gonna be zayden and then don't put it out there don't put it no, out no, there. No, 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 no. I'm not saying he's going to be Zayden. But what I'm saying is it's as if the same person is going to play Zayden mm -hmm. as the person is going to play somebody in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Got it, yeah. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like you're going to be in Fourth Wing and the Court of Thorns and Roses mm -hmm. book to movies. Like not saying him connected to that. If those, you make him Reese Poo, I'll be upset. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> it's as if you're saying, oh, Reese and the guy who plays Reese is going to be the guy who plays Zayden. Like yeah. that's fucking weird to me. The cross over is the part that makes it difficult because mm -hmm. now I got to think of him as two different characters if he wasn't I just find it weird like yes I can separate it but if he wasn't already in it ends with us I wouldn't really have a problem with this casting yeah and I'm already not as excited about Enzo's casting because now I lost hope yeah well <laughs> we really want Michelle Moran and I don't see that happening and I can't see him next to Andrew like they're not like I can't see that. One of our followers actually commented when we said, because we had said we would love Enzo to be Michelle Marone yes. in the Housemaid adaptation. And a lot of people chimed in and they were like, yes, like mm -hmm. totally shipping it, which I love. Like, I think overwhelmingly our comments were that they wanted him for Enzo. Yes, but been. somebody said something which was a great point, which has made me lost. Hope. Lose hope. He's going to be in something, right? Yeah, he mm -hmm. had said, let's find it. He's going to be in a movie. He's like recently mm. cast as something. I don't know if I can find it. So I'm Yeah, no, I remember it too. Yeah, someone said he's going to be in something. Yes. Yeah, so oh, he said, okay, shout out to Tevin Phelps. Mm -hmm. He said that he just got cast in a film opposite Anthony Hopps. Hopkins, he is preoccupied. I'm like, oh. no. I don't have, there's no one else I picture for Enzo because I'm thinking like Italian Stallion. Like, yeah. I don't know who else. You know who may be a good Enzo, but he's not Italian? Who? One of your peeps. Um, oh, no, one of no, my no. peeps. He's a little, he's a little, his, at the age wouldn't make sense. Who? Um, the guy from Full House. The John Stamos? Yeah. Oh, my people, my people meaning Greek, Greek people? Yeah, yeah. What'd you think I meant? I don't know. <laughs> one, of one of your little weird celebrities that you love. No, no, no. I don't no, know I what kind Greek. of people you meant. The, my Greek. But then again, he looks great for his age, too. What is that? I don't, I don't remember how old Enzo's supposed to be in this. Book. Enzo? I don't know. Because they do. I don't want to give away the book, but. Yeah. Um, you know who somebody said um, hmm. that could work? Joe Manganiello. Oh. oh, 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 daddy, Addy. <laughs> so like, I feel That's like if one. we don't, somebody commented that. So if we don't get Michelle Marone for Enzo, I want that. Let's do a Joe Manganiello served on a platter in the garden. <laughs> Done. I need some magic mic scenes in that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, while you're out yeah, there gardening. While you're out there, it's hot. Take your shirt off. <laughs> In slow mo. All right, I'm gonna comment this all in their okay. Instagram. Okay, this is why I want. Let's this is why I want. Yes, <laughs> let them okay. know. Sorry, guys, we got a little uh, excited there. <laughs> there's even more aside from the casting news in the housemaid. There's even more housemaid news. Frida <laughs> McFadden is a busy, busy bee. She came out with another installment in the housemaid series books. It's not going to be your traditional like fourth book in the housemaid series, mm -hmm. but she did come up with a short story mm -hmm. that you can read in between yeah mm -hmm. so it's in between books two and three it's going to be called the housemaid's wedding and she so it's like 68 pages so it's branded as a short story and it says mm -hmm. the housemaids this is there's a like little note on mm -hmm. amazon about it dropping it's coming november 22nd and it says the housemaid's wedding is a short story meant to fill in the long gap between book two of the housemaid series the housemaid's secret and book three, The Housemaid is Watching. It can be read either between book two and three, which is normal if you haven't read it yet, or after book three, so you have all the context. Hmm. 
What are you thinking? I feel like she just came out with another book. Like I'm, I'm just like mind blown. She just came out with a book called The Boyfriend. Yes, that's okay. That's what I thought. I haven't yeah. read that one yet, but I have seen positive things about it. I'm sorry, I'm Frida McFadden now, especially yeah. now there's movies coming out. I'm like, I can't read any more of a book right now. <laughs> I just can't. Like, I'll read full one, of it. <laughs> I'll read books that like may become movies, you know. But even though I feel like I've read so many of her books, that it has to be one I already read. Yeah. Um, but. But yeah, I mean, I kind of want to read the short story one just because I want to know yeah. what happens. Um, but yeah, stop writing books. No, I mean, well, <laughs> another thing, Frida, Never Lie is going to become a movie. Yes. More news mm-hmm. in her world. What She must have gotten a new agent, a like publicist. I've, I feel like I've read Never Lie. Something's going on. She's getting all these book to movies. She's She got it some kind of great deal. Mm. Good for her. I mean, and Colleen, too. They stay busy. Reminders of him is becoming a movie. How does she have time movie. for anything else? I don't know. She's She needs a nice long vacation. She, Actually, that's probably where I she wanna bites. I want to know if she's <laughs> practicing in the medical field while doing all of this. Well, because I would like to know, what vitamins do you take, Frida? Because you do not stop. She go, go, and go. I, <laughs> go, go, go. And I cannot keep up. Mm. I cannot I keep mean, up. I mean, good for you. You have a huge fan base. You're doing your thing. Mm-hmm. Not going to knock it. Proud of you. Yeah. Um, you are an author's goal. Yeah, I you know mean, absolutely any writer would girl so, cash that check we kid we kid we love you I, I no, think it's we great we do we love yeah. you yeah I'm just like amazing yes I, I, if I'm doing too much during the week I don't want to do shit on the weekend no literally <laughs> if I'm doing too much in a day I'm done yeah. Like, it's like, oh, after work, I have an appointment, and then I'm fucking wiped. I'm like, oh And I know God. she enjoys this. It's not like she's like, I, I need to write more books. I need more money. No. She enjoys this. Like, yes. that's. And even during the pandemic, like, her books, she made them free on Kindle, like, for everybody. And mm-hmm. she just, yeah. I mean, she got what she worked for and deserved good and for earned. you. Like, awesome. Let's, Love that. Let's keep up some good casting, though, and then I could even be more proud. Yeah, we'll ship it more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. We need to issue a little correction from last week. We are dying. I was cracking up. Honestly, if anyone listens, like, every week, they know I'm, like, special. They no, know I'm a honey. Little, like... <laughs> it was both of us. What are you talking about? Well, because at first I was mentioning the colors. I thought it was colors on the back, and you're like, no, it's colors on the front. So I'm like, we're oh. talking about the, the Kindle colors. The new Kindle. Yeah. The new Kindle colors off dropped it's 280 dollars we were saying like you know is it worth the money mm-hmm. and it's a kindle in color you had said at one point oh there's colors like the kindle itself that device on the back of it <laughs> instead of being black has color <laughs> but there is that that does exist but that's mm-hmm. not what was new what was new is that you can actually see the book covers on your screen in color you can see the highlights in color but you know that's okay. Like you were just you hear Kindles in color and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, well, I want to pick one. Like that makes sense. Personally, but like that, I I like anything new that comes out. I'm excited about it. But yeah. then I'm also like, I love the OG. I love yeah. I love that it seems like it's just for reading. Like yes. it looks like a traditional book. Like I don't need to see the co- what do I see the cover of it for? Like two seconds yeah. when I open it. So it's kind of like Even sad, though but there's something in me that was like, Oh my gosh, there's this new Kindle. I want it. I get that. I'm like that's how I Yes, it. like let me get it. And it's like for what? Yeah, and then with the price, I was like, skirt, not worth it. No, (laughs) not worth it. But we did last week. This is what we need to address. So we had said last week, you know what? If you're going to come out with a Kindle and it's going to be that expensive, put some shit in there. Put Audible on there so that we can you know, actually have something cool with it that's, like, not just, like, adding a little color on the screen. Put audio in there so that we can listen and read at the same time. We posted this clip thinking that we came up with this fucking... We hit. We got this idea, (laughs) honey. Shark Tank, here we come. We were, like, we (laughs) tagged Kindle and Audible and we're, like, have your people call our people. Like, we thought that we came up with the post-it. Like, we were, like, this is the... This we're retiring. Everybody in the comments. Reality checked us. <laughs> oh, my God. And they were so nice. I will say, like, everyone was like, Queens, like, <laughs> that's already a thing. <laughs> like, there is Audible on Kindle. And it's literally, like, these people looked at us and they were like, I'm going to hold your hands yeah, when I yeah. say this. Like, they were so nice about it. So thank you for being so gentle. But, like, everyone was like, you literally can yeah. Yeah. access Audible on your Kindle. Okay, for defense, I cannot. I've had my Kindle since like 2015. Okay. Same one. And I ran to my Kindle so quick when I was reading these comments yeah. and people were explaining it. I was like, I don't have Bluetooth. I can't do that. So yeah. I, I do not have it on my she version. She felt so 
empowered by the fact that it wasn't an option on her Kindle that she had to tell me so many times, well, mine doesn't have it. Mine yeah, doesn't mine have doesn't. it. Mine doesn't. I'm and I peasant. immediately told her I had Bluetooth on mine, which probably signaled that I had it. <laughs> but she just kept saying, well, you know what? I'm good because I didn't have it. I didn't have it. Well, you know what? I have it. Well, since, <laughs> since you lost your Kindle a few times, I figured you had a newer version than me. Yeah. So I was like, well, you must have it. I definitely don't. So. Maybe the old Kindles that I left on planes, trains, and everything didn't else have don't exactly, have it. Exactly. Exactly. But this ver the one I have does have Audible on Kindle, but it's not like a jump in your face kind of thing. You have to really search for it. If you're looking up a book, you can like filter to look for the Audible. Mm -hmm. And it's not quite what we were saying. Like we want it to be like you're on the page and then I can just like hit like read it or read like read it out loud or I can just like pick up and keep reading the yes. pages and mm -hmm. then if I want to switch I just on that book I can just tap and it'll read it yes I don't want to go back and forth between like audible and then right. go to the that's book that's like, how it I, does it I want it to be like oh I want to choose to like listen so I can click a button on the same page yes because then, and it starts to play the exactly, audible yes from where you are, are exactly. that's really what we meant and how we envisioned yes. it even if you watch it again last week that is what we were saying like yes. we want to just like be on the page hit it and then it'll start to like play the voice from Audible. Mm -hmm. And then once we want to pick it back up to physically read it, we mm -hmm. just turn off the and sound. And I would take and... my Kindle with me around a lot more because when I do yeah. audio, I don't think to bring my Kindle because I know I'm going to listen to it on my phone. Yeah. So it'd be nice and, to not waste my phone battery. And <laughs> you only can listen on headphones. Like that's annoying. Like I always put my phone, my Audible down when I'm like doing my makeup and cleaning. I just have it like out loud wherever yep. it just put, put it down. So not quite there yet. It's not perfect. No. And we have adjustments. So, you know, you're welcome in our defense. <laughs> we do want to say this. We are so grateful for all of you who have been supporting us. And you did handle these comments with I'm such love. I want to do the heart for Don't both Don't do the Gen Z. I want to do both generation hearts. Okay, that. you do that one and I'll do this one because I can't do I that one. I don't know how it goes. Teach me. Girl, I can't even try. I look so weird. Don't even. That, there you go. You were doing it though. Oh, that looks like a. <laughs> I don't know. That's not it. Well, you had it before. These, like, you did. You had like it. I'm throwing up gang signs. You, I know. <laughs> don't stay there for too long. You're okay. going to say something you don't mean. I know that. <laughs> so, Anyways, moving on. So, um, yeah. So, we just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting us. We had a goal. If you watch our vision board episode, we had said that we were hoping to reach 10,000 followers this year. We're almost at 5,000. So, we just wanted to say thank you for everyone who has been. I I mean, they've blown up. Some of our videos have gotten hundreds of thousands of views. We have amazing people commenting and in our little book community. So in light of the new Kindle Colorsoft coming out, we want to say that if we reach our goal of 10,000 followers on TikTok by the end of the year, we will give away a Kindle Colorsoft. Yes. Ugh, and I, I feel like it's such a good thing to give away too because yeah. I personally don't want to go and spend my money on it. Right. So now you guys don't have to. Yes, we'll do it for you. <laughs> yes, we, engage with us. We want yeah. someone that's going to be like in our face where we're like, okay, we see you. Yeah. We see you. We love your support. Thank you for shouting us out, yeah. helping out. You know, like have, Help us get to our goal to 10,000 mm -hmm. followers. Share with your friends. Yes. Comment below. Tag people. Let them know you know, about us. Let us know that you've shared it with people. Yep. And we share our reels, yeah. tag us, we'll repost them. And then them. once we hit 10,000 followers, we will drop a giveaway post mm -hmm. and we'll put all of our entry rules in that post and let you guys know. So let's together hit 10,000 followers on TikTok and we'll give one of you lucky followers that we are so very thankful for, a ah. Kindle Colorsoft. Can I answer? No. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> We're gonna look, we're gonna get the Kindle colors off and we're gonna be like, gonna get one. <laughs> so yes, I mean fully manifesting that we hit the ten thousand followers and that you get your Kindle colors off. You know what? If we hit that, I'm gonna also buy myself one. You know what? I'm gonna buy myself Boom. one too. Add three to cart. We deserve it. We'll start saving. Let's go. <laughs> No, we do appreciate you guys. Yes, thank you guys so much. <laughs> and we have so much fun engaging with you on TikTok. If you have any ideas for us or things we want to talk about, uh, things you want us to talk about, things you want us to read, yes. any topic ideas you want us to share, like let us know. And authors, if you're watching, we would love to have you yes. on. Next year, you know, we have a huge plan of authors that we do plan to have on. We can get you in there. Yes. So please reach out, message us directly, yes. email us. Tag authors in the comments that you want to yes. see on. We've had a bunch of guests. If you go to our YouTube, you can watch our past episodes with authors. Authors and yeah, Frida girl, if you listening, Frida, I need to get that mind of yours. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> yes. We have been in contact with her in the past. So yeah. just put that out I'm going to be like, you need to stop writing and join. And come here. Come here. Ma'am. I'll give you, a, we gave you an idea. Yeah. Next is going to be about podcasters that, you know, get. Yeah. <laughs> talking too much. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our book. Okay. Okay. We are continuing reading Little I'm Secrets. I'm like scared because I'm scared one By episode. Jennifer Hillier. You're going to be like, I don't like it anymore. No. no I... <laughs> So we read part two. Part two. Mm-hmm. Chapters 15 to 20. Mm-hmm. I just want to say overall, I am loving the book. Yay. So no, don't be afraid. This <laughs> is Amanda's favorite book. It's why we're reading it. And we read one of my favorites. And now we are deep into little secrets. I'm trying to solve this shit. I'm loving it. I feel like you may just because like I read it in like one sitting where like I didn't have Are you time feeling to like, think shit, about it's it. Obvious. So now that I'm rereading it, I'm like, oh, did it it's right in your it? face. Like, right but in- isn't that nice when you can follow it back and see the traces of it and be like, fuck, I didn't get it. Well, no, because then I wonder if it changes my view on it. Because I'm like, damn, if I was reading it like that, would yeah. I have? Would it still be like one of my? I mean, it's it's definitely one of my favorites. No, I mean, it's like, great. It's my favorite. But I'm also like, damn, like because when I guess movies and stuff, I'm like, hated it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying. So that's part- what happened to me with Blink Twice because I knew the ending. Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah, and then for me, otherwise I didn't know. it's a well yeah. done film. Yeah, and if I didn't know, I would have been blown away. Yeah, that's how I feel. So part okay, the, in part two, we're really learning about Kenzie. Kenzie. Yep, and her whole schemes. life. Ho-ho-ness. She is. I love her friend Izzy. It's like okay, you know what? When you guys were younger, you were kind of doing thing. some shit. Mm-hmm. But she grew up, and she said something that was so beautiful to her. And because she's like, "You're still doing this shit. Like, come on, like, get it together." She said yes. And and at one point, Izzy, well, you got to explain what they're doing. So like, yeah. basically, they're sleeping. I mean, I don't want to. Do- they're gold diggers. Yes, they're gold diggers. Yes. They're sleeping with married men and. And Mackenzie specifically is like scamming them for money. She's pretending to fall for these people. Mm -hmm. And then she is blackmailing them and saying, oh, you want to be done with me? Give me to one man. She said, give me 50,000 or I'm going to go right in there right now and and tell your wife I'm here and this and that. I'll post photos of us in bed, all this, all that. Like she is just literally like I feel like she's like a wife's like nightmare. You know, it's like. And don't get me wrong, I blame my husband at the end of the day, but it's like, come on. Like, no, it's totally uh, on the man, but she is a sick bitch. Sick. And she has no remorse and she does not care. And her friend, who, like, when they were younger, they used to kind of do this stuff together. Like, she pulled away from it and she caught feelings for something. Even the, the guy that I feel like started this all for her, that guy, um, what's his name? Peach? Was it? I don't remember. So the first guy that she had been seeing for a while and she like fell for and fell in love with he was like look like we're just hanging out like we're not like doing this big relationship thing even he at the end started like falling for a girl that he was dating and she's like what you're gonna because he was always the kind of player that just like slept around Mm -hmm. and even he ended up catching feelings at one time and I feel like she's the outlier that has like fully just been like on this track of I'm not gonna be catch feelings I'm not gonna get hurt this is transactional for me and at one point Izzy was like aren't you tired of this and Mm -hmm. then she said to to her friend Izzy who she had lived with at one point and they were roommates she was just kind of like looking at her like you silly girl like you're so pretty you could be getting money instead you're like falling in love and then your man's gonna cheat on you and all this stuff it was like so horrible and Izzy said to her yes I would rather be rich than poor but I would rather be happy than rich and I was like the way that you are preaching right now and that that girl Kenzie that didn't affect her like she lost her friend they no longer spoke. One of the wives came banging on the door and that was it. Like, mm-hmm. Or how about my thing with um, Kenzie that kind of drives me crazy is she knew. Why do I never know the husband's name? What's his name again? Derek. Derek. OK. <laughs> I'm Andrew's like fresh in my head. I don't know why. Why well, do you know why? So um, when she worked at the food truck, she saw Derek, you know, with Sebastian. Mm-hmm. So she knew who he was, knew he had a kid, obviously a family. So, you know, when. Sebastian went missing. She saw it on the news and then he started coming into her coffee place. And it's like, not only are you going to like wreck this home, you know, they just lost. You don't give a shit about the wife. Yeah. She's she needs her husband then more than ever. Right. And instead, you're like, I'm going to get in between them. And I've just I was just I wanna even like <laughs> even the guy who like was kind of in there with her, like p- 
pushing her like, oh, go get more money from this person. Go this, go that. Mm -hmm. Said to her, like, he lost his son. Like, you don't want to be involved. Like, this is a little, like, you're preying on him. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, I don't care. He's rich and this and that. And she didn't give a fuck. My prediction, though, is like the ransom money being a million dollars is making me question things like, there's a lot to Mackenzie that we don't know. And maybe someone in her sphere, because she's like more evil like than you would have thought. She is. She's so evil. Self-centered. That I'm like, is did someone, it almost feels targeted. Like this kid was taken for ransom money. Mm-hmm. And maybe something went wrong. Because like, yeah, you would have returned the kid by now if you wanted the money. So I don't know if something went wrong or what happened. But it's just giving me a little bit of the ick. Mm. Like, I, mm. Mm. it's either that or, like, Sal's people were, like, mad that she, that Marin, Marin, Marin. How <laughs> the like, fuck do you say this? Marin. <laughs> Marin. Mari. Marin. Marin. Because I think of Mar is Marin. Yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> That's how we remember. at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're making fun of me. No, oh. I'm saying, like, you know how you have to take a second? Like, uh, that, I literally was like, how do you say this? That's me name? saying Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Marin. Um, <laughs> that, you know, maybe Sal wanted to sabotage because she went to Derek. Like, it's, See, my thing is, like, Sal loves her so much. So like, it's, uh, if it's obvious at this point, then, like, I'm either thinking it's, like, somewhere in Kenzie's sphere. Oh, uh, no. It wouldn't be any of the ex-wives wanting revenge because they would have wanted it on Mackenzie, not on yeah. Marin. So mm, we'll find I think out. Marin is in a sketchy world that wanted money. I think she will do anything for money. Kenzie. Yeah. You said Marin. She's innocent. Oh, Kenzie. <laughs> Oof. Bitch. I'm like, Marin ain't do nothing. Bitch. Love you, Marin. Marin's obviously- Marin ain't do nothing she's, except she's, she ordered a hit on I was going to say, she's also in a sketchy world. <laughs> yes. But I will say, I feel like- I love the ending. I feel like Marin- Julian punches her in the face and takes her. Oh, my God. I feel like Marin- though, I'm, Why do I keep saying that? I feel like Mackenzie would do anything for a dollar. So- I don't put shit past her. Ho ho. <laughs> Fucking ho ho. It's crazy how they detail like her mindset of all of it, how she's playing. Like, oh, I'm so. I when I'm I start acts like I'm in love her. and I'm yes. gonna this. Oh, I'll ask for more. I was like, yeah. you. Sick. It's funny because when you first read it, I'm like. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's just young and dumb. And then I read part two, and I'm like, you fucking yeah. trifling bitch. <laughs> I mean, we I knew from because as it started to get closer to part two, you kind of hear like that she's, she's like yeah. a little unhinged. Yeah, but this really getting into her mind in this section, I mm-hmm. was like, are you? Kidding? But then I hear about like you know we hear about Jr. and like how he like JR. abandoned her too and all that stuff. So I'm like, she's just an abandoned puppy. You yeah, know, family's not there. Like she's just honestly. Well, that's she's, what I was gonna say. It yeah. was. JR, I couldn't think of his name oh. in the moment. JR was the one who was like, oh, like, let, you know, this wasn't love, this, that. That was like her first mm. experience. So she's already And he hurt, kept yeah. like, he kept being like, no, like, we don't catch feelings and blah, blah, he blah. Made her like, she had that one experience and then she turned cold. Yeah. And then eventually, even he was like, I'm starting, I'm seeing somebody. Yeah. And she was like, what? Like, you. So I feel like everybody's like Turning grown up her. from yeah. it and she's still stuck in this and world. And Derek wants to leave her again. So I feel like she's just like feels so abandoned. But then again, your actions, like look at what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I don't Ugh. know. It's it's getting good. But I just, I wish I had more progression. Like we had to learn yeah, more about Mackenzie, but was... I wish I learned more so I could be deeper into the story and get more like juice. I'm... Okay. So for next Oh, for next week, we are finishing Finishing. the book. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it speeds up now. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to read parts three and four. So we'll have all our answers next week. But if I start to guess it before I finish, I'll text you it. No. No, but I'm just going to text you my my prediction because I won't be able to predict next week. Fine. And then I'll let them know if you got it right or wrong. Yeah. (laughs) Let's do that. And then we get to rate the book. Okay. yeah. Yeah. So parts three and four in Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier by next week. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe. We're also on TikTok and Instagram at Book Amazing.